Okay, so today we're going to do the uh, Musa mug test with the uh, BS 1.0. This uh, fuel capacity of the stove is uh, one ounce. It's uh, a little smaller than uh, the uh, 2.0. It's an inch and a half tall, and it's two inches in diameter, and it works good with this uh, 10 cm cup. It's uh, 0.7 quarts and holds about 22 ounces. So we're going to start off by putting in. Uh, we're going to be using heat today, uh, which is about 99% uh, methanol. We're going to use one ounce. So here's 15 milliliters. And another 15 milliliters. I don't know if you can really see it. So 30 milliliters of heat. Sorry, I didn't have any matches. Alright, so we're going to light it. And now we're going to put in our two cups of water. This water is um, straight out of the tap. It's about, uh, as you can see, it's two cups. It's about 68 degrees. It takes about a minute for the stove to bloom, just like the other. Uh, our indoor temp is brown, according to this metal thermometer. It's around 69 degrees Fahrenheit. We're set for 212, uh, and it's 1152. As you can see, this clock is. It's not exactly synchronized with this one, but they're about they're a few seconds off. As you can see, the stove's blooming. So we're going to put the pot on at 11:53:03, according to this one. 11:53:03. So we'll just have to see how long it takes for two cups of water to boil with the Amusa mug pot. It's a, uh, it's a nice little mug. It's flat bottomed. Uh, it's pretty durable. It's fairly thick. But also still lightweight. I'm going to turn the lights off and maybe we can get the... Uh, get a flame pattern. As you can see it, it it just comes to the edges of the pot. It doesn't really go up the sides that much. Uh, actually it looks really good. So I expect this to boil this water in about five minutes, about the same time as uh, as the 2.0. Um, they're jetted about the same. Uh, the only difference would be this is a narrower stove, so it's uh, but it should the output should be the same with the same fuel. So we'll see. Flames are really kicking up now, pretty strong. They're starting to ease over the edge. So 
so the stove's building up pretty good pressure in there. It's been about three minutes or so. You can actually see bubbles starting to form in the bottom, small tiny bubbles. And you can see the temperature is really it's really coming up now. I can you can hear it. We're at 185. Around 11.58 we got a good boil. We put it in at 11.03, I mean 11.53, so uh, yeah about five minutes exactly. And that is with using heat and uh, the BTU output of heat is a little bit lower than some of the other uh, denatured alcohols, uh, your SLX and your uh, crown denatured alcohol. The crown denatured alcohol seems to have the best uh, heat output, BTU output, and a little bit quicker times, but for all intents and purposes, heat is readily available and it's 99% methanol. Uh, so there you go pretty quick, I mean. Of course we are indoors. This is uh, indoor temp. It was uh, 69 degrees when we started. Uh, the water temp was about 68 degrees. Uh, there's no wind of course and uh, but this will give you an, uh, you know this will give you a guideline of what you can expect from this uh, this mug. And it's really good. Very promising. I'm assuming this is going to boil probably, the, the stove's probably going to burn for a good eight minutes. Oh, oh, there, it's starting to die out. There we go, it's dead. So about seven minutes, I guess. Burn out in about seven minutes on one ounce of fuel. Well, that's that one. I'll, I'll be doing uh, the big mug next.